Ah, uh, right, folks, welcome back. This is Jokerless Everyday, and today we've got Yowie Hands again. We're back on the painted deck. I went for, we ended up with a mega spectral pack in the first shot. So now I'm just trying to decide, you know, do we want something like um, Ouija here is pretty good with the painted deck. Since the painted deck has plus two hand size, when we use Ouija here, we will get extra copies. Instead of just eight copies, we'll get 10 copies. You know, adding to, you know, however many, you know, let's say four copies you already have, that brings you up to 14. And so if you wanted to, um, you know, already having the extra copies is going to make it easier to get four and five of a kind. But then also, since the painted deck has the extra hand size, then, you know, making it even easier to do that. Um, another option, instead of, you know, getting Ouija to start here, I think Sigil for the suit change also then, you know, makes the painted deck play very similar to the checker deck where you have, you know, a lot of one suit to start. I think rather than doing that, what I like better, um, I really like Immolate, uh, especially if we're doing Jokerless because, you know, just getting the money off the ground is harder, hard, generally harder on Jokerless. And so, you know, to win with out jokers in the early game you need planet cards or you just need something right and being able to afford different options uh requires this you know requires us to you know either take a tag skip at the beginning that's going to give us extra money or i think immolate sets us up very well um also then the card removal is a second benefit that we also get so i'm just going to take the immolate and then work around what happens here immediately taking us to $20 here so we can you know if we wanted in the shop we could buy more things or just save our money to get interest right away um, after that okay then Ouija doesn't look as good anymore and so maybe we'll put a red seal um, how about I don't know I can't let's see who we got rid of some diamonds here we've got clubs and spades as our next you know sort of whatever most prevalent suit so let's go nines here with the red seal all right now uh every time you roll a booster pack in a shop it's got about one in ten chance to be a spectral pack uh which means you know on a per shop basis it's about 19 percent chance that a shop has a spectral pack so like one in five chance that a shop shop has at least one spectral pack here we ended up getting pretty lucky and we rolled into two spectral packs i started with the mega and we also have a jumbo here uh, about one percent chance that you get two spectral packs which means okay so if i wanted to i could go for what i was talking about you know here with the suit change and then try to make flushes happen um, but i think actually what's going to be even more powerful uh, i'm just going to take the immolate here and so we've already done the Jokerless challenge on the, uh, what was it, the Abandoned deck. And so we've kind of demonstrated the power of starting with fewer cards in your deck. Here now only 42 cards in the deck. On top of that, the Painted deck also has the plus hand size. So we're really off to a great start here. Now I'm thinking about, okay, you know, do I want this planet card for some scoring? Should I be re-rolling for, you know, a different planet card? Do I want this Hierophant for scoring? Uh, the nine here, we still have 13 clubs. And if I turn this nine into a bonus card, you know, that can help offset, you know, not having very many chips in the beginning. So I think I do want that definitely. Now for this hieroglyph, since we did, you know, we didn't take any skips here. We didn't need this investment tag. We just went to the shop for the spectral packs. Um, I think I'm going to wait on this. So we'll just go next. All right, so what am I looking to do? Um, I think, you know, if we do the Hierophant on the nine and we get, you know, the extra 60 chips is kind of a lot. I think, you know, what would normally be a 300 point hand can get us, you know, at least 50% more if we add 30 or, you know, 60 chips on top of that. So I'm just going to go for, you know, maybe the clubs flush or maybe I could discard something that looks like this. So mainly i'm going for the clubs flush but i have a backup option here there are some straights that i might be able to draw and so that's kind of demonstrating here the power of the painted deck you know the extra hand size allowing us to go in multiple directions at the same time 
All right, so we, you know right away we've got all of these clubs, so we might as well you know the ten and the nine here with the bonus cards. Um, I think that's going to be a winning flush, and if we wanted to you know just to be sure, we could try to get you know a better club than this four here. Um, yeah, five is a minor improvement. Maybe one more time. Ace queen. Yeah, so this is you know more than enough points for sure. And so in the next round also, if we do get the fancy nine, we could possibly get 600 points. So let's see here, next one, we've got minus one hand size. Not a huge deal here if we already have the 10 hand size. The difference I've said in the past, the difference between hand size seven and eight is a pretty big difference. But the difference between eight and nine hand size or nine and 10 hand size is much less. All right, we can't take buffoon packs but we could go celestial here. I'm trying to think, you know, do I want something like this? You know, I do see here ace through eight. Actually, we didn't lose any clubs, right? We still have 100% of our clubs. And so here's what I'm thinking. Since we have all this money, we might as well like invest sort of diversely. And I think, you know, two challenges that you face when you're playing Jokerless. So the first one is just kind of like getting off the ground here. If we go to the blinds here, we can see, okay, from anti one to anti two is not that big a difference here, but then the difference between anti two and anti three is pretty big. Um, you know, with 2,800 being, uh, you know, more than three times as big as 800 here. And then the jump from 2,800 to 6,000 is a little bit more than two times there. And so, you know, okay, how do we get off the ground in the early game? And for that, maybe I would suggest, okay, either straights or flushes, maybe straights have a better chance getting off the ground. And then secondarily, another challenge that you face in the late game is just scoring enough points in the final hand. Um, you know, what happens if we get the boss that, you know, the Verdant Leaf says all your cards are debuffed uh, unless you sell the Joker and we don't have any Jokers to sell then you can beat that if you have a high enough level base hand. And, you know, the straight flushes, you know, Neptune here could be the way to do that. So I think, you know, protecting ourselves in the future, I think I'm gonna take straight flush here. And then in the meantime, I'm gonna rely on flushes and straights. So I do want every celestial pack that I can. So here, you know, I could take either this kind of like short-term scoring option here with the Saturn card, or I could invest in this long-term scoring with the straight flushes. I think I feel, and you know, maybe this is incorrect, but I do feel stable enough right now. I'm gonna take the straight flush and just invest in the future. And then now I have to make this decision whether or not I want this hieroglyph, and I think you know, normally you take the hieroglyph, you go down to zero dollars and then, you know, you get a whole extra ante, but you don't get mu that much extra money from that ante if you have to spend all your money in order to buy the voucher. But because we got the Immolate start from the Spectral Packs, I think this is a no brainer. We take the hieroglyph here and then we still get the full interest here, which means in the next round here, the pressure's off. The next round is only 200 points. We can play any kind of, you know, here's a flush if you want. And then the next round will be again, 300 points, no problem. All right, uh, let's take another Hierophant. Uh, I do want the crystal ball. I wanna make sure that I buy all the booster packs that I can, so let's go Jumbo Celestial first. All right, we don't have Neptune. I have to make this decision whether or not I wanna go for straights or whether one, or I wanna go for flushes. Um, I think generally speaking, okay, easier to make flushes, but easier to score with straights. I'm gonna go for straights because I think it's more fun. I think it's more interesting. Um, also, it just scores more points, so you know there's that reason as well. Arcana pack here. Uh, I'm looking for the moon suit changer. Um, strength doesn't help too much. I could make a glass card. So maybe what I'm thinking about is 
I could make a glass seven and then not use it, save it for later, you know, save it for the boss, final boss that is. Uh, I'm gonna make a glass four and then that way, you know, if I want to discard my low cards, I could discard the four in the early game, save the glass card for later, and then I still retain the higher cards in order for me to make straights. Um, is that true? So here I'm looking at, I only have one seven in the deck. And so I have to decide either I'm trying to make straights ace through sixes or eight through aces. And I think there's just a little bit more room on the higher end than on the lower end. So glass four for now. And then the plan is we don't ever play it. All right, we can buy the crystal ball in a future shop. All hearts debuffed is not a problem. Let's get any clubs. All right, so we've got it already. Now I get to decide, okay, what cards do I want enhanced? If I want to discard here, I can, you know, look for some cards to enhance. So maybe let's go, let's go six and seven here. Um, with only one seven in the deck, it's gonna be hard to make straights that include sevens. So maybe we put the bonus card on the ace and the jack. There we go. We did level up the straights, but that doesn't necessarily mean we have to play straights right now. Or ever in the future. So, you know, do I want this Saturn card right now or do I want to open the Celestial Packs first? If I open the Celestial Packs first, then it'll guarantee that I don't get Saturn and then gives me a better chance of getting Neptune for my straight flushes. I think I do want the leveled up straights, you know, at least from like my early game, mid game. So let's go ahead and take the Saturn card. We still get Neptune, which is perfect. And then we can go here, Neptune again, or Saturn, both are fine. Neither of these are super interesting to me. So actually what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna skip. And then that way, if there's a fool card, you know, I say this all the time, uh, the, there's only, there's 22 tarot cards, right? And so only one out of those 22 is a fool. And when you open Arcana pack, you know, let's say there's three cards that you see or four cards you know however many cards you get to choose from i think it's three right and then uh yeah so you've got like a one in seven one in eight chance of getting a fool so it's not great chances but it does matter and so you know getting another copy of a neptune card could be huge i'm not going to take the crystal ball yet but i do have my eyes on it for the future we'll see what happens in the next shop all right, so now again here, if we do get the bonus cards, of which we have a couple now, then that is going to be a winning hand. So let's just discard for the flush. So there with the fancy nine. Yeah, no problem. And then we can do the same for the boss. All right, how about two Arcana packs? A fool would be great. If we don't get a fool, we could do this. Death card. What is the thing that I want to have a copy of? Probably the 10. I'm just double checking here. Um, I wouldn't mind having another nine. Having this nine would be pretty cool. Uh, another seven. If there was a seven of clubs, I could consider copying that. I think, um, you know, if we want to make the upper straights easier, then maybe an extra 10 would not be terrible. And then we'll remove one of these low cards. So how about uh, this three of hearts? All right, let's see here. Maybe a death card again would be cool. Moon, okay. So now, you know, we could go straight flushes. So we have the seven. Let's pick up and we have the 10. How about Eight, nine, and a jack. How about that? As far as like helping us make not just straights, but straight flushes specifically. So we got two nines, two eights, two tens, two jacks. Like this, pretty good. 
pretty good start. And how badly do I want this crystal ball? Mm. Generally speaking, the way that I use the crystal ball is I hold on to planets, and then that way, if there's no duplicate planets, then your celestial packs have more value, right? If you remove the bad cards from the celestial packs, then each celestial pack is worth more money. If I buy this and I go down only $16 here, you know, is that going to be worth it? It's close. It's pretty close. Um, I'm not going to take it. I'm just going to save my money for interest. If it comes up again later in the run, I will take it. All right, so, you know, another way with this glass card, rather than just saving it to the final encounter, I could just play it now and then hope that it breaks. You know, here's a straight, actually any straight, since it's level three straight will win. Um, I'm just gonna discard it. We could get a different straight. We could play this king, queen, jack, 10, nine. There we go. And we know, you know, with the bonus card, even without the bonus card, we know that's gonna be enough to win the next round as well. The extra hand size from the painted deck, making it easier for us to find straights. All right, this is perfect for us. We can pick up the voucher here. These are booster packs that I don't need. I don't generally want to add cards to the deck. And we already have a red seal. We already have a glass card. I think we're good. We don't need the standard pack. We can go next. All right, king, queen, jack, 10. We're just missing a nine. So discard like this. Uh, we could discard like this. Not that it matters. All right, show me a nine or an ace. Hmm, interesting, interesting. One more time, nine or ace. There you go, king, queen, jack, 10, nine. With the bonus card, that should be enough. All right, now Saturn again. Star do we need? No, no star. All right, go next. Decrease level of poker hand. 1600 we might be able to do with just flushes if we wanted to, or I guess, you know, you just accept, you just accept that it's gonna de level your straights. Um, let's go digging for those high straights again. So here, jack, 10, queen, maybe just looking for a nine to pick up here. Maybe this. So here, because we have the 10 hand size, we're able to go for either a king or a nine, which normally we're not able to do. Interesting. Okay, so we didn't get the straight, but we do have a flush. I think this flush um, is not 1200 points. And so rather than play the flush, which we know is not going to win, maybe what we want to do is just keep digging. You know, it's two hands either way. So we might as well dig. Nine, 10, Jack, King. But here's a straight flush if you want it. Jupiter card here. Okay, so no, if we take the Jupiter card, then you know it gets de-leveled before scoring. So here we pick up the Jupiter card so that we can hold on to it for duplicates. This is 10 bucks taking us down to 28 bucks. So celestial. Alright, Saturn or Neptune. I'm gonna I have enough Saturn for the early game. I'm gonna invest in straight flushes for the future. And then open this Arcana pack. Alright, so we do have an extra nine. I said I wanted an extra nine since you only have three nines in the deck, so that's great. Uh, we can swap out this four for a nine here, get rid of our low cards. Uh, we could make an extra seven. So here's that decision point of like, do we take the seven for the consistency because we don't have any more sevens 
or do we take the red seal card for the power, just like the raw power that it has? And I think we do take the nine here. And go next. All right, so for this, maybe what I'm thinking about is, how about instead of, you know, de-leveling our straights, how about we just play two flushes, right? Like that's not unreasonable, especially we have all these extra clubs now. So here's like flush number one, if we want. Okay. Yeah, maybe three flushes. So here we're low on diamonds and hearts. So let's just discard all of these. All right, get rid of the diamonds. And I guess we just keep going for the clubs. All right, so we do have the glass four if we want to risk it. Hmm. So, you know, we need 900 points. This will do it with the glass four. If the four breaks, am I going to be sad about it? I think we're good without it. So... Not the worst thing if it breaks there. Cool. So, Fool can copy death. If I get a death card, then I could do chariot. I can make a red steel card and then copy it right away. Like that seems pretty potent. Is there anything else that I would be willing to do? You know, let's say this celestial pack has a Neptune. Would you rather have a Neptune or immediately make these two red steel cards? I think I'd rather have the Neptune. Is that weird? Maybe that's wrong. Um, my thought is, you know, we've done this before where we get to a place where all of our cards are debuffed <laughs> and then, you know, we make all these fancy red steel and red glass cards and then, you know, we don't get to use them anyway. And so, you know, having that high level that leveled up um, in the past, we did series, we did flush houses, having the high level straight flush then protects us against that. So maybe that's where my head is at, to be completely honest. Um, so... You know, we'll open the Celestial Pack and we'll just see. We'll just see what happens. Maybe I'll buy the Fool first. So here, Neptune. I think I'm just going to do it. We can get more death cards in the future. I'm just going to do it. Alright, we can pick up a Chariot here. Um, I do want this Paintbrush. I don't need to buy right this second, so we'll go a Karna pack. Uh, so we have more glass cards. We can, this nine, make it into a red steel card. I think we definitely do that. Definitely do the steel. Uh, with the justice here, we have the glass four. Maybe we go glass six now as well. So there's kind of like two two universes that we're simultaneously living in. There's the universe in which the final boss doesn't debuff our cards and then we play all these glass cards and then it's an auto win. Um, there's the universe where we get the debuffs on all of our cards and we have to win with two straight flushes, which is possible if our straight flush is leveled up high enough. And so we're just kind of like hedging against those two different possibilities. All right, first hand face down is kind of disappointing but i think with the level five straight we just play two straights and then we're totally fine here at 2800 we might be able to do with just one straight we'll see we'll see maybe like this tens once again looking for nines but we do have extra nines in the deck all right so actually wait sorry we need a jack is kind of unfortunate. That's okay. Let's find a jack. Ace, king, queen, jack, 10. I don't know if this does it. Okay, barely. So in the next round, two straights for 4,200. Uh, okay. So, you know, kind of the same conundrum as before, you know, celestial pack or arcana pack first. I'm going to go, 
let's do this. So here's kind of, kind of funky here. I'm gonna go Priestess first, then Celestial Pack. So Celestial Pack, it's Jumbo, so it's five. There's no Jupiter card in here. Okay, so this doesn't have a Neptune, which means what I can do is I can sell this Jupiter and then open the Priestess now while I'm looking at these five. Show me two different planet cards. Okay, that's fine. Um, I do take the Saturn here and I think we take this Arcana pack. You know, we lose a little bit of money here. We go down to $20 instead of, you know, $25. And so that's a $7 Arcana pack instead of a normal $6 Arcana pack. We could pick up another Saturn card here, or we could just pick up the money, or the clubs helping us make our straight flushes is like pretty good. You know, it's it's a huge difference, huge difference between our straight flushes compared to our straights. You know, twice as many chips, twice as much molt, it's gonna be four times as many points. I think I just want the money uh, primarily because then I can do this right away. I can just pick up the paintbrush save my money for booster packs in the next shop. All right, now potentially much easier for us to get our straights or straight flushes if we need to. So what's the operation here? So nine, eight, let's get rid of the low cards. Okay, so Jack 10, nine, eight here. I need either a seven, which is hard, or a queen, which is pretty easy. So maybe discard like this. All right, so nine, 10, jack, queen, king. And we have the steel here, so this is worth twice as much. Um, times 1.5 and another times 1.5 is times 2.25, which you know is close-ish to times two, so I just think of it as a times two. We know one straight is about you know 3,000 points, 3,500 points, maybe higher now that we got one more Saturn card. But anyway, um, this should be you know in the 8,000 range if we multiply it by two. 10,000, I guess. All right, we can go Mega Arcana here. Fool for money, or we can go card removal and then fool after, or we can go for the suit change here. So we got, you know, a lot of different options here, a lot of different outs. <clears throat> All right, would you rather 20 bucks or, you know, the deck manipulation? You know, we've kind of demonstrated in the past, you know, how powerful the deck manipulation is. Um, you know, the thing about going for flush houses or going for straight flushes is you know that you only need the one hand to win, right? And so it, removing a few cards from the deck, you can get to the place where you get that hand every time and then there's no risk at all. And so I think, you know, rather than take the 20 bucks, I do value hangman more than 20 bucks. So I'm just gonna go in here with the hangman and use the fool to make a copy, that's it. Uh, we could get rid of Uranus here and then use the fool. All right, especially if we have the extra hand size, the extra hand size plus the smaller deck, much better chance to get whatever you're looking for. No problem. All right, let's go next. All right, first hand face down is pretty annoying to be honest. Um, what I'm thinking about is the lower cards. We've already taken some steps to remove low cards from the deck, so I'm just gonna delete these, or I'm just gonna discard these, and then try to figure this out. So already queen, jack, 10, nine. If I wanna make a straight, you know, maybe I'm looking for a king here or an eight here. Maybe, you know, since we have the discard, since we have the flexibility, maybe we just do it like this. Yeah, so king, queen, jack, 10, nine. If we do this, we do need a second straight, which maybe isn't, you know, automatic, getting a second straight. Something that could help us here with the five and three, I'm gonna use the hangman right away. And then now when I play these, maybe we save that queen. 
Maybe we save this 10. Whatever. Um, yeah, now that I play these, since I use the Hangman, I get to redraw seven cards here. And so, you know, pretty straightforward for us to get this additional straight here. Um, and then with the Red Seal uh, bonus card here, of course, that's going to get us the rest of the way there. All right, so we're, you know, just starting anti-4 now, and we're already level 7 straight flushes. All right, um, we've got $46 here. Celestial Pack takes it down to, you know, since we do have the reroll voucher, we should reroll. Uh, we're rerolling looking for planet cards so that we can block duplicate planet cards. So, for example, Venus here is great, and I want one more planet card. Mmm... Am I ready to go down to, you know, 27 bucks or whatever? I'm not ready yet. So let's go Celestial Pack here. All right, so unfortunately all of these five, none of them are useful to me. I'm just gonna skip and then go next. Play only one hand type. So this could be either we get the straight flush and then we just win in one hand or we play two straights. Uh, three straights maybe depending we'll see 6,000 right now is two straights but you know we can improve that um, I could go fishing I could go discarding looking for my steel card um, I think it's safer to just commit to playing two straights so here's straight number one and discard the low cards all right, Jack, 10, Queen, King, Ace. So there, you know, if each straight is gonna be close to 4,000 points. You know, for the boss here, we can play three straights. Maybe after we get some level up here. It'd be nice to get a little bit more plus molt, you know, like uh, an Empress on my cards would be nice. Chariot here. I can make a steel card. I can make this nine into a steel red steel another one I mean that seems pretty good. We do miss out on the extra chips But we are getting to the point where you know with if the straight flush is leveled up Then we don't need the chips from the bonus cards So I'm gonna go steel here I'm gonna go reroll one time Just kind of generally spreading out our reroll money we could go one more. Hangman is huge. Nice. Okay. I think here for the 9,000, uh, okay, I do see the red steel card. Let's remove the four and the two. Let's start there. Um, then, you know, queen, jack, 10, nine, eight. This is not a winning hand. Question is 36 cards left in the deck. Do we go for the straight flush? It would have to be, we would need a queen and a jack. We have one queen in the deck. I think it's better to just play two straights. So I'm going to play the straight here. Well, not better, but safer, you know? All right, 10, um, 9, 8. There we go. So I think my plan with this boss is we just discard to find the nine and then we play two straights. That's it. Hierophant helps a little. Arcana pack here. Ah, there's those molt cards that I was talking about. Um, is this better than, you know, just two random tarot cards? Mm, it's close, it's tough. So what cards do I actually want to enhance then? Yeah, maybe an eight and a queen, or maybe both of my eights with the empress. Yeah, let's do that. And I'm gonna reroll one time. I, I would like to find a better tarot card. All right, go next. All we gotta do is find the nine. Or we could play the six. That's actually not bad. So we go six, seven, eight, nine. 
We're open to drawing either a five or a 10 if we wanna go for the straight flush. Maybe we do that. Yeah, what happens if I discard like this? I think we can hit it. Yeah, so there's the straight flush. That's, that's a one shot. Um, we can go nine and seven here with the bonus cards if you want. Um, we can even, hey, if you just wanna see like the big number, big number. Actually, we don't need the six anymore. Like if we just do this, this straight flush, like that's 12,000 points, it's gotta be. Um, if you were concerned about it, we have two discards left and we have only 20 cards left in the deck. So, you know, 50-50 chance we get the red steel card. There we go, just like we drew it up. Thirty-four thousand points. Um, I would like to see more Neptunes, though. All right, Crystal Ball comes back around. Uh, if we buy these, we go down to thirty dollars here. So Crystal Ball will buy in the next shop. Celestial Pack's looking for Neptune. Um, not here. Let's try again. Saturn is okay, I guess. 11,000. All right, so what do we got? Eight, nine, 10. Discard the low cards. All right, now what do we got? Seven, eight, nine, 10. Looking for a jack or a six. Or, yeah, a jack or a six. Let's go for the lower straight here. All right, so I'm gonna play, I have one more ace left in the deck. I have multiple nines left in the deck. I'm gonna go the low straight here, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then that leaves me open to another straight here if I need it. Apparently we don't need it if we got this steel card. All right, next round, maybe the next round's gonna be two straights. Ah, moon here. So now every straight is a straight flush. Basically, not exactly, but basically. Saturn here and Arcana. All right, do you want Saturn for scoring or are we done with Saturn? Are we straight flushes now exclusively? Probably. So, you know, maybe what we do is we use the hangman, we go for the deletion and then we hold on to the moon. Yep. All right, 34 cards left in the deck. I think my final hand is gonna look like this. My final hand is gonna be four through eight with the two glass cards and the, you know, molt eight here and then hold the two steel cards in hand. That is like 200,000 points. All right, uh, let's go next. So now, if I wanna make more clubs, what would I like to have more of? Um, I'd like to get an extra 8, an extra 10, maybe another 9, 8, 9, 10. Uh, another queen, I don't need a king, but I could go for another queen. So maybe, how about queen, 10, and 8 would be solid. I don't have to use it now, but I'm going to go ahead and use it now. Alright, so we've got queen, 10. We're just looking for a 9 if we want to make our straight flush. So this is card like this, pick up a nine. Um, so this is the straight flush and that's like 16,000 points, isn't it? You know, it's at least as big as the straight that we were doing before. So let's discard like this. There, now I can do ace, king, queen, jack, 10, and then we got the red steel card. Nice, so if we played the nine, if we didn't have the times two, this is 14,000 points, it would not be enough points. 
All right, well, the last card we used was a moon. I'm gonna go Celestial first. Dang, still no Neptune. Uh, we could take Saturn. Our straights are kind of comparable to straight flushes. Do I want another steel card or do I just want the money? I think now I want the money. The money's gonna help me buy this crystal ball. Crystal ball means I can hold on to this Pluto card and in general, just get more planet cards upstairs. Um, let's not reroll yet. All right, to do this boss, we can run out I mean, we can just play this straight to get things started and then play a second, you know, straight flush to follow it up. Um, we could just discard looking for the straight flush. Yeah, let's go for the straight flush. So we've got one king that could help us do it. Um, we could go for the nines. We've got several nines. So let's discard like this. All right, what's the status here? So here are my non-spades or non-clubs. I think we don't need the glass card. All right, 13 cards left in the deck, but we have hand size 11. So, you know, I could do this. Seven, eight, nine, get rid of a 10. All right, so what's the status now? We've got eight, nine, 10, jack. So here's a straight flush. I have a straight flush already, but it's not enough points on its own. So I want to find, you know, I have eight cards left in the deck. So, you know, I can basically just sculpt whatever I want. So let's go. If I do get, I want another nine. Basically, that's it. I have two chances to get another nine here. If I redraw five cards, there's only three cards left in the deck. Basically, we're guaranteed to get the nine, which means I don't need this seven or you know we could get the king king or a nine basically there's no chance that we don't hit all right so let's play the ace king queen jack ten that's the royal flush with the steel card here and we're pretty sure this works if this doesn't work what's the backup plan the backup plan is we have we don't have a backup plan. Pretty sure this works. Nice. I mean, we got 28,000 in the previous round. I was trying to think about, you know, if the bonus cards matter, if it was gonna be like, you know, 26,000 instead of 28,000, but it was fine. Can't use the wheel here. If we bought it, we wouldn't be able to use it. We can pick up Omen Globe here and maybe get uh, Immolate Spectral card. Let's go. Aura, hmm, that is quite tantalizing, let's say. So maybe what we do, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, wait, four, five, six, seven, eight is already f those cards. Maybe what we do, you know, we enhance the glass card. Nah, I'm gonna enhance the nine. You know, the nine gets played a lot, so let's enhance the nine. Foil, sure. And let's not reroll. So 20,000, we know any straight flush that has the steel card, we win. So discard the glass. All right, discard the glass here. 10, jack, king, okay. We don't need repeats, we just need the nine. Well, that's a nine, but not the nine. And so let's go, you know, rather than trying to play two hands, rather than trying to play two straight flushes, we can just burn one hand and then pick up the nine. No problem. Um, is there anything else that I wanna do here? The upper cards here only work if I get the jack, so might as well throw the ace away. There we go. So here's, with the foil card, this is my best hand. Well, not counting the glass cards. Yeah, 84,000. 
the boss says face down after played okay I think we can work around that let's go pick up the before the celestial pack let's use our consumable slots to block the duplicates so do I want to use Saturn here I think not I think actually this is one of those that I don't want to duplicate anymore so I'll use the celestial pack get Neptune finally our Neptune all right we can hit 30k All we gotta do is get fancy with the nines, like that. Ace, king, queen, jack, 10. If you want, we could even keep digging, if you wanted. There we go, nine, 10, jack, queen, king. And so that's my plan for the boss as well. Uh, boss does say 40K. So we do need a little bit more gas. Uh, star is not it. We could reroll a few times. Mm, I don't want to reroll more than that. All right, so what's the situation here? So we do have the nine already. Maybe now we play the glass six just to make sure we have enough points. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, so we have the nine and we have the steel card. We could play the eight for the molt, I think is important. So maybe now I'm looking for a 10 of which I have three. I don't think we need the six. I think we can afford to get rid of the ace as well. So looking for a 10 is it all right so eight nine ten jack queen is my straight flush is this gonna get me the 40k right like i'm pretty sure it is but what if it doesn't so what we can do is this because i know if i hit the other red seal card it's a guarantee so let's just play it safe right playing it safe looks like this so these are face down, but I do know like in between here, I have one jack and two tens. And so if I do a suit sort here, that means this is the 10 of spades. Um, I can discard this. I could discard here. Um, this could be my nine. Actually has like a good chance of being the nine. So here, if I discard like this, now I'm guaranteed to get the steel card. It's probably here. How many eights do I have? I have no more eights. So actually this is guaranteed to be the nine. So eight, nine, 10, jack, queen. Just double checking here. The only card that this could possibly be is the nine. Yeah, you know, just like that. All right, we grabber is huge. <laughs> so we already have the power. We can see every card in our deck. We get the perfect hand every time. Grabber just makes it easier. Also gives an extra dollar every round. We're holding on to these three planet cards. So these celestial packs are worth even more. We get Neptune finally. Finally get some Neptune cards. Uh, maybe just one. Uh, do I want the grabber right now? We go down to 20 bucks, but we get an extra dollar from hands. All right, play only one hand. We could do this with the stray flush. So there's that. Um, this should be enough. You know, if we want, we could throw in the five or we could throw in the eight here. Yeah, so all we gotta do is get the steel card in our hand for the boss. Which is not guaranteed, but it's not necessarily hard either. All right, what do we got here? Um, we could pick up extra kings if we want. We could pick up an extra six of clubs. 
Sorry, I'm thinking about this moon here. Um, how are we on eights? We got three eights. I'm gonna go for these. Um, I don't really need the ace. Yeah. All right, uh, go next. All right, so this one we do probably, probably we go for the uh, the two steel cards if we can. I mean, that's always what we're trying to do, but you know, no guarantee. So I already have the jack through the seven here. It's like a good straight. So let's just get rid of everything else. All right, then we got it. So jack, 10, nine, eight, seven, only eight cards left in the deck and still four hands left. There's still a chance. There's still a chance that the boss dunks on us. But maybe immolate here. Ah. Okay. What about is now the time that we pick up the extra seven? Probably we don't need it. I think now's the time we pick up the extra nines. You know, we need at least one steel card in order to beat the boss. And so now having four in the deck, now it's now it's a done deal. All right, so there's the steel card. Uh, we have a six here if we need it. We could discard like this. All right, five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. Do I want to try to go for the king? Um, or try to get another nine. There's more nines in the deck than there's kings in the deck. So yeah, let's get rid of the glass card. Let's discard like this and go for the, I guess either a king or a nine. There's a nine. So eight, nine, 10, jack, queen. Uh, already wins. If you're concerned about it, we can discard like this just to be safe. You know, with the extra steel cards, now it's a done deal. And all, all we have to do is dodge a boss, final boss. All right, uh, Wasteful Voucher for the extra discard, Celestial for Neptune, nice. One of the nice things about like going for straight flushes instead of the secret hands, the, you know, the flush houses. If we don't lock or if we don't, <clears throat> if we don't unlock any new planet cards, there's only nine planets. And so if I'm blocking these three, then each celestial pack has a 50% chance gives us Neptune. So it's like almost as good, almost as good as the telescope. Um, and then the jumbo packs and the mega packs have a, not a hundred percent chance, but like ninety percent chance to give you Neptune. Uh, do I want a chariot for another steel card? I mean, it's that sounds good to me. So let's get rid of a Ju Jupiter and do this. Joker's flipped upside down. Yeah, that's it. We're done. So we just do the victory lap here. Um, what do I want to be steel? Actually, this eight. You're right. It's the eight. All right, so we got the nines here. We can discard like this. We don't need this glass cards right now. Um, steel 10 is not terrible. I want to find my eight. Not those eights. I should have been more specific. That's my bad. Um, let's go again. There we go. So there's a steel eight. Here's my stray flesh. Hierophant, mm, maybe. I'm not entirely opposed, but you know, I'm, I'm looking at my, I wanted to go for the glass cards at the end. And so, you know, they're already enhanced. Can we get an emulate? No immolate, but if you want, we can make a red glass card. Like that's that just sounds like fun, right? I think we got to do it. Um, let's go. 
how many more rounds do we have we got one more round here so re-roll a few times but not necessarily a lot times 2.25 on the steel joker um let's go next all right pretty straightforward here just going for you know the same hands that we've been playing this whole time <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, one of the benefits of having the steel nines and the steel eights is you hold them in your hand if you need them. And if you don't need them, then you've got them left over. So here we go. Eleven hand size do feel really good. Moon. Um, we don't need moon because we already have perfect deck manipulation. We already have enough hands and discards, we could, we could see everything. Um, Ankh we don't need, strength, mm, no strength we don't need either, so we just skip here. I believe Neptune was the last card we used. Ah, uh, another glass card? Yeah, don't mind if I do. How about an eight, glass eight? I mean, if we're gonna do it, we might as well like do it for real, you know? One more Neptune. <laughs> uh, there's no way there's another Neptune. All right, Hierophant we don't need, let's go next. So there's the eight. All right, what's the status here? So we got, we need the five, we need the seven. So there's the five, um, discard like this. Uh, discard these. All right, so we got the five, six, seven. We have the nine. I want the four. I want the big number. So we throw away the nine. There's 10 cards left in the deck, right? So let's, let's go for it. There we go. Is that all my steel cards? I have another nine. Okay, I mean, we gotta get the nine, right? We got six cards left in the deck, so we got 100% chance of hitting. All right, that's it. All right, team, it's been fun. Here you go. I did it for you. Here's the big number. folks um you know someone commented on, on one of the last ones like oh you know instead of just going for jokerless what if you go for like a jokerless high score what's the highest score that you can get on jokerless and you know probably if you're playing on plasma deck if you have enough glass cards and steel cards like we did here uh you could get like a pretty high number um this is good enough i guess uh so here's 13 million without any jokers not of course, on the proper Jokerless challenge, but still Jokerless nonetheless, even with all the Jokers in the shop that we can't buy. All right, take care, everyone.